Can you stop with the camera, no Freddy, Freddy? Look at this guy, he's nuts. <laughs> Freddy, will you stop? I'm gonna shoot you. Did you meet my friend Ben? He's one of the Dover brothers. <laughs> ben Dover? Dover. Yeah, dude, I think I had the machine on all the while. <laughs> Roy Albert the male, born September 7, 1942, in Bath Beach, Brooklyn. The male was head of the infamous The Mail Crew, a crew of part of the Gambino family. The male was feared by all, where it is even John Gotti didn't want anything to do with him. He was a pure psychopathic killer and surrounded by other peer killers. The DeMeo crew were especially notorious for what became known as the Gemini Method, where victims would typically be lured into the apartment behind the Gemini Lounge, which Roy DeMeo owned and operated. The crew would shoot, stab, Dismembered their victims, put their body parts, wrapped them up in little bags, little wraps or boxes, and to be sent to garbage dumps in Brooklyn, where Roy had to connect with somebody who worked for uh, one of the dumps. Most of their victims' remains were never found, never recovered. Speculation shows the crew killed easily over 200 people. The thing is, not all being mob related. Sometimes just killing people for fun and for sport goes to show how psychopathic these guys really were. The crew consisted of two main killers, Anthony center Joey Testa now in 1982 the FBI were putting a lot of pressure on the male relation to missing and murdered persons from all the hits and killings and so the FBI put the Gambino mobster under surveillance watching his every move during a wiretap the FBI uncovered a conversation between Angelo Ruggiero and Gene Gotti where they discussed that the boss had put a contract on DeMeo's head because he was causing too much heat on the family and its operations from all the murders. The only problem was nobody wanted to kill the male because of who he was. At the time leading up to his death, DeMeo became paranoid and even considered faking his own death as he knew his time was coming. He ended up going to a confession before his death and never left the house without carrying a concealed shotgun under his jacket. On January 10, 1983, Roy DeMille attended a meeting at one of his crew members' houses. The crew member is unknown to this day. A little is known of the events that went on but around 10 days later, he was found in the back of an abandoned car trunk with bullet holes all over his body, bullet holes in his hands, and I believe a bullet hole in his eye. Speculation remains on who killed him. It's still unknown to this day. The only explanation that they have is that one of his crew members killed him. It had to be an inside job because nobody else wanted to take it. It was even offered to John Gotti to kill him, but he didn't want to take it either. It's still unknown to this day. This is the last known 
picture of the male. Well, this is the picture of his death. 